G'day Hoovins and welcome to this week's brand new video. So for this week I thought that I'd sit down and have a kind of discussion about something big that is happening in Doctor Who at the moment. So in The Fugitive of the Jadoon, Doctor Who fans were introduced to a brand new Doctor. We weren't really expecting it, it came out of nowhere, but we got a new Doctor. There are a lot of theories going around the internet at the moment about who she could be, but this week I thought that I would sit down, have a discussion and discuss some of the theories and talk about who could this Doctor be. So get ready to theorise because we're going to be talking about the question, who is Ruth's Doctor? So just quickly before I start discussing who Ruth's Doctor is, um, a lot of Doctor Who fans have been angry that she is now the Doctor because she is black. I just want to say right now, that is not okay. Whilst I'm not 100% on board of her being the Doctor, I don't think that she should be shamed because of her skin colour. If you're one of the Doctor Who fans that are shaming this actress because of her skin colour, you are disgusting. It's not on. Racism in any form is not on. This is not okay. It will never be okay. I think that if you don't like her as an actress, that's fine, but do not be racist towards her. That's all I had to say. Seriousness over, let's get into some theories. A future Doctor. Now it was said in Fugitive of the Judoon that this Ruth's Doctor is a past Doctor. So, yet the Doctor doesn't remember her being one of her previous incarnations. Um, but there's also the idea of her being a future Doctor. Whether Chibnall was lying and she actually is a future Doctor, I don't know. It has been confirmed that uh, Jodie Whittaker is staying on for series 13, but what if Jodie's lying? Jodie and Chris could be lying to kind of make fans think that and to get them off the scent that perhaps Ruth's Doctor is the next incarnation of the Doctor and that Jodie's leaving at the end of series 12. I don't know, could be, but this one doesn't sound that plausible. An alternate timeline slash parallel Doctor. Now, before you jump to the comments and jump down my throat for this, um, I just want to mention that Chibnall has already confirmed that she's not a parallel Doctor, she's not an alternate timeline Doctor, um, she is the Doctor. But, could Chibnall be lying? Possibly. I like this theory and I'm going to go with this theory. Like I said, I'm not 100% on board with her being the Doctor just yet. But I like the idea of an alternate timeline or a multiverse, whatever you want to call it, because it could mean that in a different timeline or a different universe, there are 13 other Doctors. And I kind of like that idea. I like that idea that there are 13 other Doctors to discover and we are yet to discover them. Ruth is the Rani. This is another big theory that I've seen floating around the internet. Um, I like this theory. The Doctor and Ruth's Doctor were both scanned in the episode and it showed that they were the same person. So, Maybe she's got some sort of device that makes the Doctor think that she's the Doctor. Maybe it's the Rani working with the Master to try and manipulate the Doctor. But I like the idea that she could be the Rani. I think it would be really cool. Um, I think it'd be a little bit mind-blowing and I don't think a lot of fans would suspect it. The Timeless Child. Now, could she be the Timeless Child? Back in Spyfall Part 2, I think there was a flashback of a young child, not trying to be racist, but it was a dark-skinned child. And this child is possibly the timeless child. So could this be Ruth's Doctor as a child? This can also refer back to that she could be before William Hartnell. Again, I hope not. But I want to know what you guys think. Who do you think Ruth's Doctor is? What are your theories? Let me know in the comments down below. This whole thing is really messing with my mind, so hopefully we get some answers at the end of the series. But that is it for this week's video, guys. I have a new episode of Who Review out on Monday, and then another new video next Friday, so join me next week. But that's it for now. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.